A6, so A4 is more or less forced. By now, both engines know this pretty easily. Knight BD7, Bishop C2, very cunning move, stopping any Knight E5, Knight 6, D3 ideas. Again, the goal here for white is to limit trades, yet without that Bishop on C8, black's life is so much easier. So, so far, so good. You know, honestly, if I just show you these moves so far, it doesn't really matter if it's two masters or two grandmasters or two 3400 engines are playing, right guys? So rook e8, very typical idea, putting pressure on the e-pawn, bishop g5, pinning the knight. And this is queen a5, again, well-known idea. Sometimes people play the queen on c7. I like queen on a5. It could potentially harass the pawns. Um, it is a little bit more difficult to get b5 because of a takes b hitting the queen. Queen f4. I'm not a big fan of this move, and Leela Chess is exceptional at picking up these subtleties as well. Knight h5, x clan. Here I think Stockfish realized that probably something's not right with queen takes d6, and Stockfish dropped the queen to d2. So far so good, it's actually a pretty logical square for the queen. It's protecting both bishops, but let me just see what happens if queen takes pawn. I was thinking about this myself, and I think... Um, Leela wanted to play this knight e5. Now this queen is almost trapped. For instance, um, we may already have an immediate threat of bishop f8. And in addition, I actually like this knight c4 idea, hitting the b-pawn. So somehow this position doesn't give me confidence for white. The queen is really misplaced. So I think Stockfish was thinking about the same way. Queen d2, rook c8. Logical move. Why not c4 at the right moment? That's also a well-known idea. Rook f to c1. Keep in mind, do you think anyone taught Leela chess any of these moves? No. None of these strategies, none of these ideas have not been taught. It figured it out all by itself, by playing itself for hundreds and hundreds of games. And each new version sort of replaced the previous version. If it wins, it says, all right, I'm going to play the winning version next, and so forth, and so and so on. So c4, typical idea again. Again, I wouldn't really be able to tell the difference if it's two GMs playing or two engines playing. A rook a3 is just a good prophylactic move, protecting the knight just in case. Knight c5, again, very logical chess so far from both engines. Rook b1, this is already a little strange to me. I'm not quite understanding the idea behind that move. But it's clear that black more or less solved her opening problems, and I will refer to Leela as female. And now knight f6, notice how the maneuvering starts. Black is actually pretty comfortable here. Bishop f4 hitting the pawn, queen c7 protecting the pawn. We're not in a hurry, right guys? f3. Now moves like that, again, I'm not a big fan of because it weakens the dark squares. So these squares are pretty weak, and if the bishop on f4 is gone, then there could be a way to get to the squares with knight h5. Well, rook b8, first things first. Remember the idea of this opening to try to get the b-pawn going? a5, stopping it. Nevertheless, b6, the b-pawn is going to get traded whether white likes it or not. Takes, takes. Now we have a nice target. And notice how little by little the pressure is building up. Next move is going to be doubling up, knight h5. And dark square strategy is paying off. In the meantime, the bishop on c2 is utterly useless. Queen f2, played by white. Again, I'm not really understanding this move, but maybe white couldn't really find a good plan. Knight fd7. I thought knight h5 is also interesting, but maybe Lila knows something even better. Maybe Lila wants to play knight e5 and knight d3, which is actually a quite nice outpost. Knight a4, trading a pair of knights. Rook b4, bishop d2. And now, guys, you will be shocked absolutely shocked what black is about to do here why don't you try to guess black's move yourself give yourself a couple minutes pause the video try to figure things out what would you play if you're black okay now ask yourself a question what would you play if you're black and your name is tigran petrosian and lila chess is exceptional a5 double x clamp Tigran Petrosian was the king 